And you will make a wish. I will make a wish. I will become dragon. Oh, that's peekaboo. Okay. Okay. So when teacher and will go to Vietnam, I gonna go to your place. Oh, you tell me where did you live? Okay. So I gonna go to your place and we're gonna put it together. I will bring cards. In that time. Oh. That time city. Ah, okay. I will just ask later if there's no COVID anymore. I will go to and I will cut the hair of potato. <laughs> and we're gonna play cards. You want cards? One? You want cards? Yeah. Yes. Okay. One card. And then we're gonna have the pick game. Yes. Okay. So potato. Okay, now Kwan will have the test. Teacher Anne will let you answer the test. Okay, you're gonna have your Okay, you're gonna have your regular test. Okay. <laughs> okay, today I will share the regular test for Kwan Kwan. Okay, so we're gonna have this. Okay, so now I will share the screen for the test. Okay, all you have to do is to listen and answer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, what is that? Ready, Kwan Kwan. In the 
task, you will have listening, reading, and speaking. Okay? Yeah. Hey. Oh, come here, come here. What are you doing here, face? Potato. Don't try to disturb Guan. Okay? You just draw. You just write. Okay, Guan. Are you ready, Guan Guan? Guan Guan. <laughs> ready? Yeah, my, mom my mom hurt me. Your mom my is? My mom hurt me. Oh. Hurt me. Your mom doesn't hurt no. someone. Mom loves you and potato, oh, potato, you're gonna fall. You sit down, potato, sit down. Okay, now you listen. We will not make noise. You zip your mouth, listen, because we're gonna have the test. Okay? Okay, teacher. Yes, we have three. We have listening, reading, and writing, and we have speaking. Okay, I know you make this perfect. Okay, perfect. Yes, make this perfect, okay? I will record your score. I will record your test. So teacher will know what is the correct, okay? Ready? Okay. Ready. Oh. Part one. Okay, by the way, Kwan. Listen and look. Okay, by the way, Kwan, you will have this repeated two times. Okay, you will repeat. If you did not hear for it two times, another. Okay, so until you make it perfect. Okay. There is one example. Yes. This is a busy street, isn't it, Aunt Emma? Yes. This is the village where I live. Can you see the woman who's wearing that long scarf? The one who's walking with her dog? Yes. Do you know her? Yes, I do. That's Vicky. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Can you see the woman who's selling flowers? Oh, yes. She's standing under a big umbrella. She's my friend. What's her name? It's Katie. And across the road, I can see her husband. The man with the striped T-shirt? Yes, that's him. He's got a big shopping bag. Is he going to the supermarket? I think so. His name's David. He's very friendly. Can you see the man who's reading the newspaper? Oh, yes. The one who's waiting at the bus stop. Is he a businessman? Yes. That's Richard. He lives near me. And who's that man? That man who's washing his car? Sorry, I don't know him. No, the other man. The one with the suitcases. Oh, that man on the bridge? That's Paul. Is he going on holiday? Yes, I think so. And do you see the woman with the red sweater? Yes, she's standing at the corner of the street. No, not her. The one who's washing the windows. Oh, yes. Do you know her too, Aunt Emma? Yes, her name's Claire. She comes and cleans mine too. She works really hard. She's amazing. Now listen to part one again. Can you see the woman who's selling flowers? Oh, yes. She's standing under a big umbrella. She's my friend. 
What's her name? It's Katie. And across the road, I can see her husband. The man with the striped T-shirt? Yes, that's him. He's got a big shopping bag. Is he going to the supermarket? I think so. His name's David. He's very friendly. Can you see the man who's reading the newspaper? Oh, yes. The one who's waiting at the bus stop. Is he a businessman? Yes. That's Richard. He lives near me. And who's that man? That man who's washing his car? Sorry, I don't know him. No, the other man. The one with the suitcases. Oh, that man on the bridge? That's Paul. Is he going on holiday? Yes, I think so. And do you see the woman with the red sweater? Yes. She's standing at the corner of the street. No, not her. The one who's washing the windows. Oh, yes. Do you know her too, Aunt Emma? Yes. Her name's Claire. She comes and cleans mine too. She works really hard. She's amazing. That is the end of part one. Okay, Quan, you understand? I understand, teacher. Okay, teacher will gonna ask you questions. Okay, first. Okay, where is Vicky? Vicky is the one wearing a scarf. Okay, very good. Okay, tell me, who are in the pictures? They are Katie. Oh, where is Katie? Katie is the one. Katie is the one washing, washing, washing the window. Oh, washing the window. Okay, next. Ooh. David is the one in the station. Ah, uh, in the station. Okay, next. Tom is the one having a bag in his hand. Okay. With flowers. Has bag in hands. Okay, next. Four. Claire is the one selling in the market. Oh, Claire is selling in the market. Okay, next. Okay, finish. Okay, very good. Okay, next one. Let us listen this two times. Make it perfect again, okay? Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Grandpa. I'd like to ask you some questions about the airport where you work. Okay, that's fine, Sarah. Is this for your homework? Yes. So where is it? It's in the north of the city. Wait a minute. I need a pencil. Okay, I'll write it down. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Now, what's the name of the airport? Well, it's called Cleden Airport. How do you spell that? C L E D O N? That's right. How many planes arrive there every day? 
Is it more than 200? Oh, yes. I read that it's 320. Wow. Yes. Lots of interesting people from other countries arrive at this airport. So, have you seen any famous pop stars? No, but I often see film stars. They come here to make movies. Great. And where can you eat there? Well, there's a very nice cafe. The pancakes there are brilliant. Cool. I love those. And is there a hotel where people can stay at the airport? Yes, there's a very big one. It's got lots of flags outside. That's interesting. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. I've got enough to write about now. Now listen to part two again. Now, what's the name of the airport? Well, it's called Cleden Airport. How do you spell that? C-L-E-D-O-N? That's right. How many planes arrive there every day? Is it more than 200? Oh, yes. I read that it's 320. Wow. Yes. Lots of interesting people from other countries arrive at this airport. So, have you seen any famous pop stars? No, but I often see film stars. They come here to make movies. Great. And where can you eat there? Well, there's a very nice cafe. The pancakes there are brilliant. Cool. I love those. And is there a hotel where people can stay at the airport? Yes, there's a very big one. It's got lots of flags outside. That's interesting. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. I've got enough to write about now. That is the end of part two. Okay, you have the answer? Okay. Number one, task two. What is the answer for number one? Name. Number one, give me the answer. Name Katie. Katie. Number two. Only a minute. Okay. Number the name of the city, name of a person, number of planes which arrive every day. More than 200. Sarah Grandpa often seems famous. What's number three? What's number three? Pasta. Pasta. In the cafe, you can eat excellent cooking. Outside the hotel, you can see lots of cars. Okay, number four. In the cafe, you can eat excellent what? Excellent cooking. Cooking, okay. Number five. Outside the hotel, you can see lots of? Lots of car car okay your answer number one katie number two more than 200 three pasta four cooking and five car is it correct ken correct teacher okay let's move now okay in reading and writing you have to give me the five answers okay you read first and Okay, just read silently. Do not speak. Just give me the correct answer.
Okay. Tell me if you are done. Okay, what is the answer for number one? Teddy and Fred, you, you read and I answer. Okay, okay, do not answer. Okay, because this is a test. Okay. You read, I Katie, answer. Katie and Fred want to stay with their cousin, David, who lives on an island. They wanted to see the whales which visited there just blank. Just slowly. Just slowly. Okay. Just slowly a year. On the second day, David Dad took the children down to the beach to look for the whales. The children were very excited. They waited for a long time, but no whales came. Then the weather got blank, so they went home. What's number two? Foggy. Foggy. Okay, be sure to your answer. So they Foggy. went home. That they did this for three days, but they didn't see any whales. On the fifth day, they blank again. Like... Believe. Believe. Okay, believe. One, 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 one. One. Want. Okay. Four. The blank again. Okay, where am I? Okay. The sun. Some rocks. You right. Again. You right. Oh, again, again, again. You right. Okay. So, Katie, I will put it again. Katie and Fred went to stay with no, the No, teacher. Okay. You right. Again, they start. Where? Number three. Number three. Yes. You right. Okay, on the fifth day, the blank again. Now, what's the answer? Once? Your Once answer is. Again. Once is your answer? Yeah. Okay, number four. They sat on some rocks in the sun. Katie said, it doesn't matter if we don't see any wells because I am so happy. Then Katie started singing. After a few blank, several whales appeared. Minute. Minute. Okay. Number five. David Dad shouted, Look, they hear you sing and they are coming to listen. I don't blank it. The animals came very near to them. But when Katie stopped singing, they swam away again while the children waved goodbye. Okay, what's number five? What's number five? I don't belong it. Believe. Okay, I will review your answer. Number one, slowly, correct? Correct? Yeah. Number two, foggy, correct? Correct, teacher. Number three, once. Yes, teacher. Four minutes. Yeah. Five, believe, correct? Yeah. Correct? Correct. Okay. What is number six? What do you think is the title or the best name for the story? A, B, or C? The day the whale arrived. The day the, the whale, whale arrived. arrived.
Okay. Okay. In test four, you read the letter and write the missing words. Write one word on the line. There is no choices. You have to read the missing word. Okay. Can you do it? Okay. Study first and then after you give me the missing words. Okay, you tell me if you're done. Okay, teacher. You just tell teacher I'm done. If not, just answer.
teacher. Okay, what is your answer? One to five. Number one, answer. Do. Okay, very good. Number two. Into. Very Into. good. Number three. Very good, Ken Ken. Ago. Okay. Next. Dog. Dog? Yep. Okay, five. Listen. Listen. Okay, I will repeat your answer. Number one, do. Number two, in two. Three, ago. Ago, E-G-O. Next, dog. Number five, lesson. Correct? Correct, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, let's now move Keen to speaking. Okay, we're going to have here the speaking. Now, you look at the pictures and describe several differences. Okay. Okay, teacher. I will listen. Okay, tell me what is the difference? Number one, it mm. is night. Okay. But in number two, it is day. Okay. In number one, the boy is not helping him. In number one, the boy is stand up. But in number two, the boy is not stand up. Okay, He's very good. Down. In number one, the girl has a flashlight. But in number two, the girl has a flag. Okay. In number one, the girl wear a... But in number one, the car has a rabbit. But in number two, the car doesn't have a rabbit. Okay. In number one, the car is blue. But in number... To the car is yellow. In number one, there was a bath. But in number two, there was a butterfly. Yes. In number one, there was a house. But okay. in number two, there was no house. Okay. In number one, there are only two trees. But yes. in number two, there are three trees. Okay, three trees. In number tree. one, the umbrella. In number one, the umbrella is not on the tent. But in yeah. number two, the umbrella is in the tent. Very on good. Tent. In number one, the man has a new paper in, her, in his pocket. But in number two, he doesn't have a new paper in her pocket. Yes, very in good. Pocket. Again. Finish teacher. Okay, so many things that you look at the picture and describe. Very good, Ken Ken. Great job, Ken. Yay. Okay, I always, teacher Ann always say you're very smart. Remember that one. Now you continue the story about Betty. Okay. It is about Betty's birthday today. Her mother is making a cake for Betty. Betty is getting some sugar for the cake. She has to stand on the chair. This is Betty. Now, what happened to Betty in number two? 
Okay. I will. I will watch for a minute. Okay. Don't worry. I you will watch for a minute. Okay. Watch for a minute and study about Betty. Okay. Can okay, you describe teacher. number two? Okay. Can you describe number two? In number one, Katie. In number one, Betty study literature. And and pack some sugar. But in number two, Katie fall down and the chair broken. The sugar was and not in the bottle now. Finish teacher. Okay. Next, number three. Look at what happened to number three, four, and five. In number one, number one. It's number Katie three already. Betty, in number three, Betty hurt her leg and her mom get her a blanket. Number four, Katie was asleep and her fr friend come to her birthday. In number five, Katie have a happy birthday. Okay. Miss teacher. Okay, so. You have number three, number four, and number five. Okay, what happened number four again? Number four, Katie was asleep and her friend come. Okay, and then in number five? She has a great party. Okay, she has a great party birthday okay very good yay great job ken ken okay very good okay potato is coming to town okay okay so for now ken okay we are we only have two minutes left okay I will send the result tomorrow, okay? I will send the result and I will have to 
give the result. Are you sure with your answers? Do you think this will be perfect? Kent? Kent, do you think this will be perfect? Okay, Ken, where are you? Okay, Kwan. Okay. Okay, Kwan. Okay. Oh, you lost. Okay. So for now, we don't have time. Teacher Anne has another class. Oh, what happened? You lost. Okay. So I will give the result tomorrow. Okay. Where is potato now? Potato is not here. Okay. So I will be seeing you on what day today? Today is Thursday. Okay. I will be seeing Ken Ken. Okay. So I will be seeing Ken Ken on when Ken? On Sunday. Okay, Ken. I will see you okay, on teacher. Sunday. Okay, so for now, teacher Ann will say goodbye, Ken. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye.